Republican Party was basically taken over by the CIA in the 60s, and National Review and William F. Buckley were part of that, and that's been declassified, by the way, if you want to look that up. It's public. Just type in National Review CIA. Then the neocons who've been the Trotskyites, literally out of Mexico, from Russia, literally. This is mainstream news, too, if you're a new listener, and you're like, what? Communist? Took over. But their job has always been to suppress the Tea Party, has been to suppress. The, the, you know, the proto Tea Party, people like, uh, with no apologies, Barry Goldwater. Sometimes silence isn't golden, it's yellow. And this is all on record if you just want to research it. I mean, Ronald Reagan spoke out against the CFR, the New World Order, the Trilateral Commission, the plan to, until they got him in a room. And that's all come out. And so the Democrats are gone. They are the front line, the tip of the spear of the takeover, the new demographic shift. The Republicans are to be a regional group, and that's why they've got them committing suicide right now with the open borders, all the rest of it. We need to take over the Republican Party, not let it commit suicide, and then have inroads with kind of liberal libertarians, which are forming out there, and helping take over those areas for liberty. Live and let live, man, but come on. Don't raise taxes on middle class and tell me it's social engineering for the good when the billionaires are tax-exempt offshore. I'm tired of it. And the truth is something nobody can argue with. Democrat, Republican, I don't care, black, white, old, young, gay, straight. Man, listen, you can have polka dots. As long as you love freedom, I like you. And the liberals are not high ground liberals. They're authoritarians. I know it's easy to buy into the corporate fraud of, oh, there's, you're in this group or you're in that group. Folks, we got a real problem on our hands here. David Knight, do you agree with me? I want your take on this. How exciting is it to have Rand Paul calling Bill Clinton a sexual predator? and a monster, and he shouldn't be the Democrats' number one campaign fundraiser, and, 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 and others calling Obama a criminal and dangerous. And this is what we need, because when people are being bad, the rhetoric has to fit it. We can't dial it back just because the Democrats are outrageous criminals. Uh, I mean, I think we've got to dial it up. They're always saying, back off, be nice, that's how you win. No, that's how we've lost. We need to get aggressive. Our forebears killed people to have freedom. We're just trying to turn our voices up. Absolutely. You know... Ronald Reagan, you mentioned Ronald Reagan, he was a very different candidate than he was a president. And, of course, there were connections with William Casey and George Bush the first, and the uh, Iran-Contra, all that kind of stuff was happening. After about six years of this, Ron Paul had enough, and he wrote a very scathing re resignation letter from the Republican Party. He spoke out about this. We need people like that. I think Rand Paul is the same way. I'm hoping he's the same way, that he will speak out against this stuff instead of just giving them a, a free pass in the name of... Uh, being a nice guy and, and getting along with the system. I hope that he gets in their face like Ron Paul did. Ron Paul resigned. He ran as a libertarian, and he never backed down from those principles. So we're hoping that Rand Paul will do the same thing. This is very encouraging to see him come out this way. But well, that's right. I mean, they need to turn up the heat here, and that's what's happening. I mean, that's why Ted Cruz is on top now in the polls ahead of Rand Paul. Ted Cruz globally, I saw a poll, I think it was Gallup a few weeks ago, globally, is seen as the second most influential political person after the Pope. Wow. Worldwide, all because he just stood up and said, we have a criminal government. Mm -hmm. All because he had the will. Just like right. people in Eastern Europe spoke out against the Soviets. Yes. Call it out. The power isn't telling the truth. All you people that sell out to the system, you yes, think you get ahead by, by being milk toast. No, no, you don't. You become a slave. Go ahead. The public sees it. So when... Ron Paul gets up and says, you've betrayed all the principles that you ran on. David, other points you'd like to add about the state of politics in this country and all the things that are happening. Well, you were just talking about Ted Cruz, and that's one of the things that makes him so powerful is that both he and Rand Paul have been going in and attacking really the, the front end of where all this tyranny is, and that's the executive orders, the NSA. That's what we're really concerned about. It, it, now, Rand Paul is attacking Clinton here, and he needs to do that because Hillary Clinton is going to be his opponent. But the things that he's done with the speaking out against drones and assassinations, the stuff that Ted Cruz come out against, the executive orders and the dictatorship that's there, that's really important. People need to see that. They need to understand where that problem is. We need people who are going to speak to that issue, and hopefully they'll do something about it because we've had a lot of people who have talked about it. Even though they're in the minority, they don't really have the power to do anything about it. I would like to see somebody just offer 
uh, bill to impeach Clinton. Uh, not Clinton. Well, they could. That's well, same. It, it, it is. <laughs> Obama is the fourth term of the Clinton. That's right. That's right. It's, it's hard to tell the difference when they even when they go from one party to the other. You well, I mean, Clinton different. is raising all the money. She's going to run again, and we cannot get rid of these people. That's right. But somebody needs to put out a bill, even if it's not going to fly, even if they can't get it through. They need to stand on the principle. It's the sort of thing, just like what Ted Cruz came out and he said, he's evil. They need to make that point. They need to put up a bill of impeachment. They need to do everything they can, even if they know that nobody else is going to support them in Congress. Other stuff that's on the radar. I, mean, I know you're doing a lot of research. Well, I, just going back to this report that we had, I, I think it's very significant that they're now talking about this thing that happened nearly a year ago. They kept it quiet. They just used it internally. It clearly looks like it was, it was very, like I said before, very carefully done, very professionally executed, very carefully planned, and very, very measured so that the public didn't know about it. Now we're hearing about it, and I think when you look at that, you look at the issue of the Olympics here, we are on the razor's edge here. Liberty is really hanging by a thread, just like our infrastructure is hanging by a thread. They could pull off some kind of a major event like this, whether it's a major outage of the power grid that they blame on a terrorist attack or whether it's uh, an actual false flag attack, something really big like this, taking the power out. They could use that to further ramp up the police state, use as an excuse, even if we have a terrorist attack in the Olympics. That's something that would be very, very dangerous for us because they would extrapolate that back to here. What does your gut tell you is going to happen to Obama? Because if we don't try to impeach him or rebuff what he's done, it's going to set the precedent that all this executive garbage is passed on to the next tyrant. Yeah, that's exactly why I think a lot of people in the Republican Party are letting him get away with it, because they want that power when they get into office. We've seen that happen over and over again. They'll just switch sides. They don't really have any. They're criti a lot of people are criticizing him here and there on separate issues, but they really want that same power when they get into office. They don't really want to take that away. They could take it away if they wanted to. We've seen the abuse is so much worse than it ever was under Nixon. You know, the, the abuse of the IRS power. At that time, the IRS commissioner just took the enemy's list and put it in his safe. He didn't actually execute it. Now we've got IRS commissioners who actually execute the enemy's list and actually lie about and it. And then don't get in trouble, get caught right. lying. It's come out, she lied over and over again under oath. And then they're ex still expanding the persecution. There's nothing worse than letting somebody get away with the crime because what, we, what the federal government is turning into is the feral government. This is a government that's been abroad, killing people, starting wars. Now they're bringing it home. No, you're right. They are a feral, rogue, mad dog government, and all of us are in danger, including the idiots that are in the system letting this happen. You think you, the, this power is not going to bring everything down, you morons, with no checks and balances? This is a disaster. This is a disaster for stability, the world, our wealth, everything. Thank you, David Knight. We'll be right back. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139.